Hey guys, it's Brian from Drillboard here. So when you work on Drillboard PDF, the default setting is that our toolbar sits on the right hand side of the screen. But let's just say that I want a little bit more flexibility in where my toolbar is positioned. I want to move it around to that exact spot that I want. Together, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the steps on how to use and activate Drillboard's radial menu. So in order to find the radial menu, I just have to go over to the settings button that's located on the bottom left hand side of the screen. Once I click on it, it'll take me to the settings menu and I go to view and layout. And then all the way to the bottom of the screen, I don't have to scroll, I can see that there's a use radial menu button. Once I toggle that on and I get out of the settings, you can see that the radial menu actually appears. If you ever want to have this menu and move it around to wherever you'd like, feel free to click and hold on the middle icon and now you can move it to whichever spot you want. If it's getting in the way of your work, feel free to collapse it by clicking on the center. Now, when you first use the radio menu, you can see that there are a bunch of default tools that we give you. Here we've got the grippy hand tool, we've got the pointer tool, We've given you two pen tools, one highlighter tool, one eraser tool, and one text highlighter tool. Whenever you want to activate a tool to use, feel free to click on it. And then now that I've clicked on this red pen here, for example, I can do an annotation that I want in red ink. If you want to customize a particular tool, let's say that we want to change this red pen tool you just have to click on the arrow that's located on the outside of the circle. So I'm going to click on that. And here it takes you to a screen where you can change the color of the ink. I'm a big fan of green, so I'm going to change it over to green by clicking on it. You'll know which color it is because it will be highlighted in white. Now let's say that you want to change the thickness of a line. In order to do that, you just have to click on this icon that's here, which is the three horizontal lines. And now it takes you to this section where it's got a bunch of numbers indicating line thickness. So I don't want this to be a six. Let's say that I want it to be an eight. Anytime you want to navigate back to the past section, feel free to click on the middle. That's the general rule when navigating through this radial menu. If you want to go back, just click on the middle. Once I'm back here, I can also change the opacity of my ink annotations. So maybe I don't want it to be 90%. I want it to be a little bit more transparent. You'll click on the outside arrow that's located opposite. And then I'm going to change the opacity from 90% over to maybe like 55. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back again. Now you can see that my ink annotation is no longer red, but it's a transparent green. Now, obviously there are more tools that Drawboard has to offer. In order to find those through the radial menu, you just have to click on these three dots over here. Once you have that, we give you additional tools that you could use. Let's go through them one by one. So at the very top, we've got our polygon tools. So once you click through that, we give you a bunch of either rectangles, ellipses, arrows, straight lines, clouds. All of those tools can be located in this section over here. The way that you would customize those tools is the exact same way that you would customize your ink annotation tool. If you want to customize it, you just click on the arrow that's located on the outside of the circle. The second section here on the top right is our measurement tools. So here's where you can do your calibration, you can do your line measurements, area measurements, anything that is measurement related is in this section here. This tool here next is our call out feature. After that, we've got our text box feature. So let's say that you want to insert a text box, you would use this tool here. We've also got our bookmarks. We've got our added note. We've got our insert a signature, and we've also got our insert an image button. 
Now, once you click on inserting an image, it gives you the ability to either insert via a camera or insert via a local file. And there you have it. That's how you use Drawboard's radial menu.